Dewa, I want to inform you that what is happening here is happening in your home. As it is happening here, once you are connected with us, you are with us in your home. There is no difference between here and that your bedroom there. Where can you go from his side? Where can you go from his side? Say thank you, Jesus. Stand up. Where is your wife? She's at home. Because what your wife told you yesterday is the reason why I want to talk to you. For two things. One, for your eyes. Yes. Because doctors have recommend, have given a test report. That's but correct. It's like uh, you have so much faith, you say you will not do what they ask you to do. Absolutely, you are correct, sir. Mm, the report doctor gave to you about your eyes, you say, no, you're a Christian, you will never, never do it. That's correct, sir. So we need prayer for that. And two, read Psalm 21, okay? I'm grateful, sir. My name is Akin Jinado. I'm a lawyer and I'm from Ondo State. What was the message of prophecy you received from Prophet T.B. Joshua today? He gave me three prophetic messages precisely and I can tell you that all of them are absolutely true. First, he asked me where my wife was and I said she was home. So, and he asked me to tell him the conversation we had last night and I remember we were talking about her business. Where is your wife? She's at home. Mm, because what your wife told you yesterday is the reason why I want to talk to you. She was talking about expansion, the need for her to expand the business to include another brand. And I was a little reluctant, and I told her that I was going to seek the face of God concerning it. And what, the man of God was talking about it, I'd forgotten. But now I recall quite vividly that was the discussion we had. So I'm happy that that for me is a confirmation that yes, it's going to be positive if I allow her to expand the business to include that kind of brand. So you mean the very conversation that you had with your wife yesterday and you told her that you will seek the face of God concerning this, that was exactly what the man of God mentioned today, is that right? Exactly. Yes, he equally told me that I had issues with my sight. Your eyes. Yes. Because doctors have recommend, have given a test report. That's correct. It's like uh, you have so much faith, you say you will not do what they ask you to do. Absolutely, you are correct, sir. Mm, the report doctor gave to you about your eye, you say, no, you're a Christian, you will never, never do it. That's correct, sir. So we need prayer for that. I must tell you, too, that that's correct, too. I'm a lawyer, like I said earlier, and, and you will know that the, the sight to any lawyer is very important to him. The importance of my sight being intact cannot be overemphasized. And the thing is, lately I discovered that uh, if I read for a lengthy period of time, my vision will go all blurry. So I consulted an ophthalmologist who uh, carried out some tests, ran some tests to me, and eventually recommended that I have to go for some kind of therapy. And it was like a shock to me. And uh, I said I was going to concentrate on the use of the anointing water. Although we recommended some glasses and I took them and uh, I, I said I was going to lean on God and hope that God would restore my sight. And so it was shocking that the man of God talked about because uh, as a matter of fact, I insisted that the kind of glasses that would be given to me would be ultra thin such that anybody who would not be a professional in that area would not even be able to tell that my glasses are recommended. But I was shocked when the man of God walked straight to me and told me that uh, I got some issues with my sight. So I'm grateful to God that God has located me and that, that's a signal, it's an indication of restoration. He equally mentioned that uh, it was because of my uh, love for God and my faithfulness to my faith that I insisted I was not going to go for any kind of operation or therapy. And then he recommended that I should be reading Psalms 21. Mm, the report doctor gave to you about your eyes, you say no, you're a Christian, you will never, never do it. That's correct, sir. So read Psalm 21, okay? I'm grateful, sir. Do you believe this prophecy has brought breakthrough, deliverance and healing into your life today? Definitely, definitely, because I'm really confident that this has brought an end to all of my afflictions and problems. I'm grateful. We thank God for your life. We thank God for the message of prophecy and we want to encourage you that the most important thing about Christianity is not the work we do but the relationship we maintain. And we pray that God will give you the grace to maintain a lasting relationship with him for a lasting solution in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for my deliverance. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. I'm grateful.